Hello everyone, welcome to Algo Simplified. Let's solve today's lead code challenge that is concatenated words. J let's jump on to the problem statement. Given an array of strings words without duplicates, return all concatenated words in the given list of words. A concatenated word is defined as a string that is comprised entirely of at least two shorter words in the given array. In this problem, we are given an array of strings and we have to return all those strings present in that array which are comprised of concatenation of two or more strings from the same array. Let's say we have this words which is a array of strings. Now we have to check if we can make a given string by concatenating two or more other strings of smaller lengths. Let's say we have hippopotamus. Hippopotamuses. So we cannot comprise or concatenate any two or more strings to form hippopotamuses because you cannot find anything over here in this array of strings. But if you see dog cat dogs, dog cats dog, if you just break this down into dog cats and dog then it sh it the problem gives us two conditions first all the substrings that we break this thing down should be in array and the second thing is that the numbers if if the number of substrings that are, we are forming let's say it is m then it should be greater or equal to 2 so these are the two conditions that must be followed as you can see here in this problem dog is present yeah it's present here the another dog it's since dog is present okay cats let's see where the cats is okay it's also present since both like all all the substrings are present and the size of the substrings that we have formed in this through this string are greater than or equal to 2 it means this has to be included in the result so that's the problem statement I hope you got a clear understanding of it now let's build the approach so the only way we can solve this problem is check if every string is a concatenated string or not so how we will be solving this problem using this thing is basically let's say we have this particular string now what we can do is we can apply a DFS based approach where what we will do is we will first check if D can be formed can be found in the given array or not let's say this is the array now we see okay can we find D is there any D present like a substring which has only one element that is D no let's move on to DO now we see okay DO is is there any substring or like is there any string which is equal to this particular substring no let's move to DOG okay here we got something this is a substring which is present over here so we will just consider this as one of the substring and now find if this the remaining length can be a sub like can be a string which is a concatenated string or which has a string that is equal to this string in the array of strings that is words so we will again check it and if we find something like let's say we see, we check C, we check for every possibility C A C A T C A T S, and then we find okay C A T S is valid, and then we go to D O G you know like this. But one more thing, we just have to add one condition. It's a normal DFS based function will be invoked, and we will be doing a normal DFS based sol solution there but the only thing that we need to take care is 
the number of substrings should be equal to or greater than 2 because it may be possible that you just find a substring that is equal to this substring because you know if you just search for this entire thing that is dog cat's dog then you will definitely find this thing in here you know because this thing we are picking this particular string also from this word words so we need to take care that the number of strings the number of strings from which this particular string is concatenated should be greater or equal to 2 and that I'll explain you while coding but let's talk about the time complexity of this solution since we are going to check for every the time complexity since we are going to check for every element like every element of the vector so it will be n into the time complexity to check for a particular word and the space complexity of this approach would be big of now what will be the space and time complexity of this approach so first what we are doing for checking this we are going to every possible pair like we have just just consider this thing we have let's say its size is m so we have m vertices in this it's a dfs based approach and m square edges because from this we can move to any any other from d we can move to we can consider d o as one node d o g as, as another node d o g c as another node so we can move to m possible nodes and for o also we can move to n m minus one possible nodes if you just add them up you will find we have m square edges now how to deal with it like how you will compute the time complexity since the time complexity of a dfs based approach is big of v plus e so we will be getting a time complexity of big of m square it it would be m cube if we consider making sub if we consider making a substring or uh, if we just use substring function or we consider taking a substring out of a string but if we keep on adding that thing like we keep on adding a, a each character then the time complexity would be big of m square and I'll explain you while coding it so the time complexity is big of m n into m square which is nothing but big of n cube so the time complexity will be big of n cube and more precisely it is big of n into m square which is where m is the maximum length of a particular like out of all the strings the maximum length of a string out of all the strings and n is the size of the array and now let's talk about the space complexity so how we will be solving this problem what we are going to do one thing we are going to do is we are we will take a set of strings to store all these values so that we can find and what else we will be doing one thing we will be using a set of string to store and check and we will be using an unordered set so that the insertion and checking of the elements takes just big of one complexity so this thing will take big of n space complexity and what else we will be doing while checking for this one okay so we will be using nothing but uh, like while checking we will be not doing anything we will be just using a string um, and we will be calling a dfs function so as of now the time complexity is big of n as sorry the space complexity I just spelled it wrong the time complexity is big of n into m square and the space complexity would be big of n but I'm not sure with the space complexity I'll maybe there's something we need and maybe we need to initialize something so maybe we I update this thing after coding but the time complexity is big of n into m square let's let's start coding this up in this problem first thing what we will do is I'll 
initialize an unordered set a string s now I'll iterate through all the words and insert each word into the set now I will iterate through again iterate through each one thing we can also do is as we know that since we know that a word can only be formed you know a word can only be formed if, if it this word has like 10 characters like the string has 10 characters then it can only be formed by the strings which has lower characters so maybe if we just sort this out then a lot of things can be uh, like it can get a lot easier but let's just skip this thing I'll do it later if we feel like it so out of these words now we will just if check checking and if we find okay it's then we will push this result into our result name like res array that is we will push this thing and return now let's form this array what we would be uh, needing we will we will need a string now we will need an index from which we will start doing this thing we will check from the very first index and one more thing count now you would be wondering why count because we need to check how many substrings are there if they are less than two then we definitely need to return a false for that particular case so word comma zero comma zero like initially zero substrings are there now let's code this up what we have to do is while uh, we will be iterating from index till word dot size and yeah and let's form a string t uh, I will be storing like from index till ith index so the substring will be stored in this t and I am not using the substring in build function because it will take big O of n time complexity and it can lead to big O of n into m cube to avoid that I am using this thing now we check if s dot count that is this set contains this particular string and check if the remaining part has also like the remaining part for this word starting from index i plus one and with count plus one because one substring has already been made so we will increase the count since we know okay previously we have encountered one substring out of this string now return true otherwise we will return false here now let's come to the base condition if we have we if we reach index equal to word dot size then we definitely have to return something if the count is greater or equal to 2 let's return true otherwise return false so um, I think it's almost done now let's analyze the space complexity one more time we have formed a set okay we have made this vector string result okay is there anything else that we have done no we have made a string t which can have a time comp like which can have a space complexity of big O of m that is m is the size of the largest string present so basically we have big O of n plus big O of n plus big O of m that is big O of n so the time complexity will be big O of n that is sorry the space complexity will be big O of n and the time will be big O of n into m square so that's it for I think yeah so let's run the test cases and see if 
they are working this code is working yeah, it's working let's submit submit this so yeah now one more thing we could have done is like sorting these words but let's say we have these words we can only we have to sort them based on the size of the word okay basically if the first the size of the words so if we just sort these words let's say we have a word like c a string c and a string a b d so a b d will definitely be here and c will be here so we need to we need to ensure that c comes first and a b d comes later so just to, for for that we can what we can do is uh, since the time complexity is big of n into m square so it's kind of big of n cube and the sorting takes n log n so the time complexity overall time complexity would be big of n into m square only and it will optimize our result up to some extent because yeah it won't because we are using unordered set but it can make it a little faster for the uh, like for this to process so let's just do it let's do it sort uh, words dot begin comma words dot end comma now I am kind of using a lambda function okay so int uh, like string ampersand a comma string ampersand b it's it's a similar thing we could have used a comparator here and then could have just uh, initialized the comparator like bool and my comparator like that or maybe in a function but it would be easier for us to do here so return smaller has to be at the as like as a size less than b dot size so that's we will going to return now we don't need to again call this we we can insert this one And we can insert this one kind of later also because this is basically we are checking for this so we don't need to check this in the string so I hope it will work let's see this um, <coughs> okay I just forgot to add a semicolon yeah so let's submit this so you can see earlier was 92 percent and like it its runtime was 184 ms and now it was 197 so it doesn't affect any much because we are using unordered set and it it's like insertion is big of one and like checking like the is if a string is present or not is big of one and it's sorting basically increases the time complexity by like some extent it will not since the overall time complexity will be the same but it has some effect on it so i hope you understood the problem statement the approach and the way i coded it and if you have any comments do like if you have any doubt do comment and please like the video and subscribe the channel algo simplified thank you for watching the video